In this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create this smooth bouncy text animation inside of After Effects in just few clicks and a simple expression. It's going to be super fun and super interesting. I am Nick Hill from dopemotions.com and without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. I'll call this text 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS and five seconds long, hit OK. Then I can select the text tool and type in any text that I want. I'm gonna type in just something like creative. All right. Also, you are free to use any font that you like. So there you have our creative text. I'm going to go into the paragraph section and make sure the alignment of the paragraph is set to center text. Then let's make some room right over here. Let's click on this small triangle and in the animate property, I'm going to add a position. All right. And then I'm going to click on this small icon that you see right over here. I'm going to click on that and go into selector and add an expression. So this is going to give us an expression selector. So if I click on this amount section, you can see we already have a small expression applied to it. So I will be adding my own expression to this. Now, this is a pretty simple expression. I know it looks a bit complex, but I'm going to break it down into simple steps. So you understand this expression properly. So as of now, let's just copy this expression you will find this expression in the comment section which is the pinned comment below and also in the project file of course which is free to download link is in the description so i'll copy that expression click right over here and hit Control v to paste it up now if i just move the position of this so make sure the time indicator is at the very start and let's say i move the position to the bottom out of our frame and if I preview this, boom, there we have our animation in just a few clicks by just simply adding the expression and changing the position of the text. Now, the best part about this animation is it doesn't matter where you keep your text. So let's say if I move the text to the top, I don't even need to change any expression property or any keyframes, you know, it's going to automatically add a nice animation to this. I can even move this uh, if I just set this to zero and let's move this um, make sure it's at the very start and let's move this to the right and boom there we have a really interesting text animation so let's so for now let's pull that at the top I'll set this to around somewhere on there and we have a simple little animation which looks pretty cool now let's go ahead and understand this expression so, so we only need to keep in mind the four different properties of this expression. The first one is the decay. Second one is the frequency. Third one is the amplitude and fourth one is the decay. That's all. You don't need to um, worry about everything else that we have here. So the first one is the decay. So decay is basically the time duration, the time of animation between every single alphabet. So right now the DK, if you can see right here is set to 0.1. So if I increase this, so let's say I'll just click on this, delete the one and let's add a DK of 0.5. And now if I preview this, you can see there is a time difference of 0.5 second between each and every alphabet. So 0.1 works perfect in DK. If you want to increase it, you can do that as well. Second one is the frequency. So right now, if I preview this, you can see our animation is pretty smooth. So if I increase the frequency, it's going to make it more and more stiffer. So if I set this to 10, it's pretty stiff. And maybe in some case you can use this kind of animation if you want, but three is a sweet spot for the frequency. Third one is the amplitude. So let's say if I bring down the amplitude, so I'll go at around 10. You can see the text become much more smoother and the basically it brings down, it controls the overshootness of our text. So if I increase this, so let's say if I go all the way up to hundred, we're going to have so much more bounce and a little bit of overshoot. You can see right over here. This is the line of our 
text and the text and the T is going below that line. So it's basically adding a little bit of overshoot into our animation. As you can see, looks pretty cool as well, but I like to keep it at 50 and that looks much better. And finally, we have the DK. So let's say if I increase this, so let's bring that down to five. You'll see we have much more bounciness into our text and it's going to be much more wiggly. So if I go ahead and maybe bring that down to one, let's see what we get. Pretty crazy text animation, which can be also really, really useful and look very cool. So 12 is a sweet spot for a smooth animation that I'm going for. So as you saw, it's super simple and super easy. You can tweak the complete expression according to your personal preference and come up with your own sweet little animation. So that is a wrap for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you never miss any new future tutorials and also press that bell notification icon so you always get updated whenever I post new videos. And you can also follow me on Instagram at dope.motions. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.